Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Anime Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. A couple of new things from Fascinations this week. First of all, late last night I was a bit surprised, or yesterday morning, I was a bit surprised to find a new coming soon model on their page. And very first I saw it, I didn't realize what it was. It is the Night Bus, which is M, our model number is MMS464, three sheets, moderate build, with a finish size of three by one by two inches in height. Um, and then they also include the uh, centimeters, which would be 7.62 by 2.54 by 5.08. And I copied and pasted that, and I didn't even realize how exact that is in inches. Three by one by two, not three point or one point by two point. Three by one by two. That's not very big. It is a triple decker, very blue bus. And at first, I didn't get it. I'm like, that looks familiar. It is the bus in Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban, the night bus. And I never realized before that it was spelled K-N-I-G-H-T. I've even read the book, so I probably did know that. And then forgot. Because I read the books like, holy cow. Well over 10 years ago. Yeah, I want to say my daughter was like... I'm not sure she was born yet when I read the books. Anyway, yeah, she's 16 now. Anyway, um, so yeah, it is the the night bus, K-N-I-G-H-T bus from Harry Potter. And uh, it does have a nice amount of detail. There's only four pictures right now, no 360 view. But you can see in the pictures that there are beds in the night bus not your usual seats. And I'm wondering how much more detail there's gonna be than that. I know some people are already talking online about dressing it up with some like the little shrunken head and whatnot, which would be really cool. And I fully expect somebody out there to do something like that because I'm seeing some really amazing things that people are doing to mod their models and it's fantastic. Also, I was surprised to even see that. But then right after that, the newsletter came out uh, with another sneak peek of, and I'm gonna try to say this right, Sikorsky Black Hawk Helicopter. So, really cool. Not really familiar with helicopters, but it's pretty cool that they're giving us another helicopter. I know a lot of people are excited. All we have is the picture of it, and it looks like the we the, the rotors are spinning, so that's probably photoshopping or, you know, you know, photo editing. But I suspect that might indicate that they actually do turn, because some of the, the helicopters do have rotors that, that are made in a way that they will turn, so that's pretty cool. And it also we have the it's the February newsletter came out. We also have the Metal Earth Challenge that is up now. So if you want to enter, Metal Earth Masterpiece. For your chance to receive a gift of Metal Earth models, a model kit, and be featured on our next newsletter, send marketing at fascinations.com a creative photo of your most treasured Metal Earth masterpiece, along with a short paragraph as to why you chose that model. Rules. When submitting your image in short paragraph, please include your full name and mailing address. Deadline, March 11th, 2021. And there you go. So if you want to enter in that, those are the details right there. If you're not getting the newsletter, you can go to MetalEarth.com, scroll down to the bottom. There's a place to enter your email address and submit, and that will add you into where you get the newsletter from there on out. And Metal Earth doesn't spam. I mean, I've been subscribed to the newsletter for quite a while now, and they don't spam you with stuff. Actually, it's kind of a little disappointing the February newsletter's coming out, and February's almost over. But anyway, there we are. And I do want to say congrats to last week's winners. I'd forgotten what the contest was, but the pictures gave me a big clue. So we've got congrats to Rick Montas for a picture of the Resistance Ski Speeder, which is pretty much looks like it's in scene on a movie or in the movie. Brian, congratulations to Bryce Park, who has a really creative picture of the Terminator breaking through a door with Milner, probably said that wrong, the axe, and trying to get at R2D2. So I'm pretty sure that's recreating The Shining, which I recently watched for the first time. And then we have congratulations to Donald Bay Baconic. Basically, the Titanic sinking in, in some ice wars. That's pretty cool. Congratulations to the three of you. I'm assuming it's a recreation of the movie scenes that sounds familiar or something they've done. I've seen so many Metal Earth uh, 
competitions at this point, they kind of get a little muddled and, you know, I bet they're getting a little, how should I put this? I, I bet they're having a hard time coming up with new things to do, but cool. If you want to check out or give your, if you want to try at the latest one, you know, find your favorite model, take a good picture of it, write a paragraph and send it to marketingfascinations.com with your name and, and email address, full name and email address and, uh, or mailing address, excuse me volume and mailing address and give it a shot. And one last thing that I did notice, somebody in one of the Facebook groups posted that Innova Toys now has, and I checked out for myself, they now have the other three Mandalorian models back on pre-order. I talked previously about how they went from pre-order to where it looked like you're ordering, you know, could get it, order it now, no longer pre-order, and then they went completely away off the screen. So we have the Razor Crest, the IG-11, and the Mandalorian with an estimated time of arrival now of, of January 31st to March 31st of 2021. So yeah, definitely past January. But anyway, they've, it looks like they've extended the, the time. Obviously, there's been some sort of delay. Can't say I'm surprised. We're still dealing with a pandemic. But uh, yeah, they're back on pre-order if you want to do that. Oh, and also the Terminator T-800 model is back, but listed as being out of stock. So they don't have it, but it is at least listed on their page and not just missing like it was before. Looking around at Peace Cool, nothing is new there. Poking around AliExpress, I only found one thing. I actually found something on MU's site. Looks like they've added a new model. But if you click on that model, no details come up. However, I appear to have found it on one AliExpress store. I found a, basically an, it's listed as an Atlantis building, and I found it on a funny model store. Just a little bit of information, model YMN117, MU model, stainless, iron, brass, so stainless steel and brass. Um, the finish size is about 18 centimeters by 17 centimeters by 28 centimeters, multicolor, six sheets of parts, seven star difficulty, and it does appear to have an, a really neat looking acrylic stand of like a blue wave washing over. That's pretty neat looking. And it is uh, listed at $57.99 on there. I imagine as the time goes on, these will start. this model will appear in other stores as well. But right now, Funny Model Store is the only one that I found that has it. And there are also, if you scroll down, there are some close-up pictures, some interesting detail in that model. There's like pictures of sea creatures, of whales, I think Poseidon is even in there. I'm assuming with it being called the Atlantis Building, it's related to the lost city of Atlantis. And I'm wondering if it has to do with any sort of movie that maybe I haven't seen. If you have any more details on it, feel free to share it down below. I did not spend any time translating uh, the, the, the Chinese text and the pictures, so there may be some clues there that I just missed. But it is a really cool looking building, and if I had time, and not already a backlog of models and you know tons of space. I definitely grab it and build that just because it is a pretty neat looking model. And I'm I'm really liking the acrylic stands. I don't have anything with an acrylic stand or at least anything that I built yet. But I would really like to get one of these like MU Peace Cool models that has a, a acrylic stand just to you know, check that out for myself because they look really cool. Beyond that, no new models coming out. No big surprise. It's probably going to take a little time to gear back up after the Chinese New Year. But I'm sure things will come around. And I imagine things are still running kind of slowly because of the pandemic. Still affecting everybody. The virus is mutating. It's just, you know, it, there's there's no way around this at this point. Uh, I wish more people would actually take pre precautions more consistently. I wish people would actually wear their masks properly. Uh, I still see people with their noses poking out. It's not working. Uh, I still people still see people wearing handkerchiefs just kind of draped over their face. It's not doing much good. Um, the virus is going to win at this point. It's going to have to play its course. It really stinks. And uh, there's just too many people that are not, um, not doing what they need to do. And the virus doesn't care. It's going to do what it does. Anyway, I'm not going to drift off into that because it's a frustrating topic. I do want to share a couple of things. I did recently get a comment. I'm surprised I don't get asked this question more often than I do. Barely been asked it ever. I'm not sure I've actually been asked before. But David on YouTube asked, 
why is the channel called Animate Orange? That is a particularly strange name. I can see why, why would people say that? Or why would somebody use that name? Well, originally, I, I have uh, a couple of different YouTube channels, and, and they actually have very similar names. And the first one that I started, I, I did like some mechanic stuff, I did some woodworking stuff. I wasn't very good at the woodworking stuff, and it's just, it just me goofing off. And I started this channel, which was originally part-time geek, because they, I have a geek side. I, I like sci-fi. I like um, some fantasy. I like electronics and building things and just I don't know I thought it would be a uh, neat just to have a separate channel that wasn't mechanic woodworking related and I put a few odd and things out there for a while I was reviewing Star Trek the magazine Starships Starship Star Trek Starship magazine but yeah there were several other people doing it I was barely getting any views and then I found these models and started doing that now my channel is all about 3D metal models but where did the name came from um, I started off with part-time geek, but then later on changed it to Animate Orange. Animate Orange is a name that I thought up years ago. I wasn't actually in a band. played bass guitar for a band back in the late 90s. And, you know, we did have one or two small shows that never got very far. Um, one of the people in the band was very intent on getting farther. The rest of us were just kind of having fun with it. That person did go on to get a little bit of somewhere the rest of us didn't but at the time we never really had a name for the band one of the names that I thought up I thought was just really cool was animated orange just animated and the color orange I just I don't know why I thought it was really cool and I had some ideas of t-shirts and whatnot nobody else in the band liked it they just didn't eh, you know but I did and it stuck with me for whatever reason all these years and I actually have had a couple of different websites called Animate Orange. Uh, one of them was I I did you know did go to school and get certified as a webmaster, CIW certified professional site designer. Right as the Twin Towers came down, never got anywhere with that. Uh, my health deteriorated and I just kind of abandoned that. So I I haven't kept up and just. At one point, I started a website and was going to offer services, and just never did. Uh, but I've just held on the name for all these years, and and uh, my other channel is Annie Orange, and a lot of what you see me online is either Annie or Animate Orange. Um, I actually used them as AOL screen names at one point, and the Annie was shortened because originally AOL wouldn't allow but so many characters, so Animate was shorted to Annie Orange. Which, you know, at the time I didn't think about that, but a lot of people thought I was not a he. Whatever. But that's where it comes from. It's just a band name I thought of years ago, and I've used it for a lot of different things, and now I'm using it for this channel. And originally this channel didn't have a specific direction. I know a lot of people that are getting in this hobby and starting blogs and starting YouTube or yeah, YouTube channels or Instagram accounts or naming their channel something to do with 3D metal models or Metal Earth. You know, CodeWiki named his blog Metal Earth Builder. Makes perfect sense. And there's a lot of Metal Builder this and Metal Earth that and, you know, 3D Metal Puzzle, whatever. And that's fine. But I didn't start this channel off to build these models. I just started this channel off to do fun little geeky builds. And I, I actually built plastic models. And the Metal Earth models came around and they just kind of took over. And I've thought about branching out into other stuff like um, wood models. I've got a, one of these wood puzzles over here somewhere, and I, I intended on building, and just never have. Barely have the time for this, and it's just, it's just what I've continued to focus on, and I've really enjoyed it, and it's what everybody knows this channel is. But yeah, the name came before the direction, and it's an old band name that no one liked that I just continued to reuse until it got somewhere, and there it is. It's a really long way to answer that question, but yeah, I can be long-winded, so apologize for that. I always do a sort of outline for for my videos of the different topics I'm going to talk about and there's always a a one of those outlines used to be question of the week or topic of the week and now it's just gotten down to where it's just topic because there's you know for a while there I was answering questions and asking questions at the end of the video and I ran out of questions I asked and the next week I, well, I would ask a question the next week I would talk about that question and people's responses to it and I kind of got to where I couldn't think of anything I hadn't already asked 
and then I just randomly pit talk, picked topics. But yeah, I like to think, talk, and ramble about something at the end of every video. And that question stuck out, and it's one that I'm surprised no one's really asked before. I think I've mentioned it, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm rambling on. There's no new models to talk about other than what I've already mentioned. But before I go, I do want to leave you with this really, really cool picture that I saw from David Osborne. He, they posted it on one of the uh, Metal Earth Models Facebook page. It is a a uh, like modified, customized, like painted C-3PO. The title is Mischief Managed C-3PO just a, after being purchased from the Jawas really fantastic we've got the silver on the leg we've got like the stains and whatnot and marks on the chest and body is it even has a restraining bolt and some wires stuffed into the abdomen i think i read on there that there were wires from a keyboard that were cut out I did something similar to that with a spare arm that i had where i had some wires poking out i think i took a picture somewhere i still have it somewhere but i keep forgetting where anyway i'm gonna leave you with this picture Fantastic, well done, David Osborne. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. And uh, as always, keep on keeping on.